awesome! Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions! Chandlo Funk Bun, I lift. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy, I'll get them there. If I want to push my limits, I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place, and I gotta respect that. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lizbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, cause she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Bro, that's not... just... dumb. Anyway, I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff, but maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro! Go on, Charwee! Just follow Papa's pointer! Or, or don't! That's fine, too! We're off to a bit of a slow start. It went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charwee the ropes. What do you say? My secrets plastered all over the front page news. Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit so long as my identity is protected. <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted Bean, and I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan- Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. Well, I, 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 I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? I 
surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. I was too exposed. Floofty tried to wrap me up in that experiment, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinati's plot against me. Lizbert disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day? Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wit, and chat redacted, blow an arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. Ha <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. <laughs> this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island and came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> Brrr, Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Crondo Face! You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you. Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead-end job and followed that stench of possibility. Yeah, I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas, paid on commission for grump's sake. <laughs> what do I think of <laughs> delicious? Irresistible! Marketable! They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of Money Town, baby! Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that! Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief! I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Befica planted evidence in my hut! said I stole her diary, so I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Eggabel her fix. The rest of us were just pss, disposable. That's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. <laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. Just go check out where the boat was. 
See what you think of Lizbert after that.
heads up. What are you looking at? Psst. Hey, pal, I got a business opportunity for you. I got a tip that Trifity found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. They say it'll lead to a huge bug snack. Imagine what a snack that size is worth. I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. That's where you come in. Get me a bug snack so delicious that Trifity would die for it and we'll trade. Then we'll split the profits 50-50. I clearly said 50. <laughs> What's up? Hey there, bestie. We've got a new target. Cromdo's back in town. I know that greedy crumbag has some juicy dirt. I'm not talking about his pathetic little lies or scams either. I'm sure you'll find something good. Don't let me down, bestie. Come on and do the wiggle with me. Do the wiggle, do the wiggle with me. I do the wiggle, do the wiggle, do the wiggle with me. Yeah! Huh? Is somebody there? You didn't hear anything, pal. You got that? Not a single peep! He's always so jealous of Wiggle. Why would he even hide that? It almost makes him kind of likable. Ah, oh, not again! I should tie myself down. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charlie the ropes. What do you say? All righty. Now just use Sprout to lead Charlie back to my barn. Oh, my God. 
start, but I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out we love you papa. Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's, um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. 